Well, I knew Deborah when she was uh, chair of the um, uh, Red Cross, and I sat on her board. Mm -hmm. um, and then I worked with her at United Way and encouraged her to come over and t take up or take uh, on the United Way job. Oh really? You're the one that encouraged well, her. Well, I one of many. Yeah, one of the many, yeah, one of the many, many. encouraged her to take on United yeah. Way, huh? I was so impressed with what I saw uh, that she did at the American Red Cross. Um, I was impressed with what I heard about how she uh, performed and and the job that she did at the Salt Lake Chamber. Mm -hmm. That that uh, being a, a board member on United Way, I couldn't think of a better person to lead it and to take it uh, up to the next level. Well, I, I think, um, you know, Deborah is a business person. Her, her years at the chamber, um, I, I, she learned how businesses think. Uh, she knows the issues that are important to them. And I think that has rubbed off on how she manages uh, nonprofits. I saw it at United Way. Um, I, I saw it at, at the Red Cross before that. But Deborah runs a tight ship. She understands that, that she has stewardship over funds that she raised that people donated, and that many of them uh, came from people who, you know, some may say really shouldn't have done it, that they really couldn't afford it. But they believe in the United Way. They believe in what, what they're doing, and they wanted to donate. And so, so, so I, I have to say that um, uh, Deborah really feels the responsibility of using that in the stewardship of, of, of watching over how those funds are, 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 are taken care of. And so she looks at every aspect, from my point of view, of how you run that organization uh, effectively and, and efficiently. And when times are tough, she has taken tough actions uh, to keep costs under control, to ensure that costs uh, don't exceed revenue and that uh, she balances her books. And I think that's a real tribute to her and her business acumen that, that she re recognizes how to do this, that she has the courage to do it, and that she can do it in a manner that um, doesn't offend, that people understand, and that allows United Way to continue on with its important task of helping our community. Well, I, I think uh, Deborah has that unique ability where she can bring people together. She can bring people together. She can bring tech and combine the people with technology and ideas and money and focus all of that energy on, on one goal until that goal is reached for the benefit of the entire community. Uh, she has, um, you know, she is very effective in sitting down and talking to you about the reasons why you should donate and support United Way. And, and when you get in that room with her and, and she's passionately describing what they do and the benefits, uh, it, it's hard to say no. And, and uh, she, she is, is remarkable in the way that she can present her case. So the ability to bring people together, the ability to, to um, have us all focused on the same goal, the ability to raise funds and the ability to prevent to present a vision of, of what our community can be like and the problems we can solve if we work together together under the banner of United Way is impressive. Well, I, I think she really uh, believes in the idea that we have to give back to the community that we are all blessed with, with different talents, uh, that businesses um, uh, all benefit from help and assistance that they receive from, from others and from uh, 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 the advantages of, of having clients. Um, and, and I think that she really believes that, that we have that responsibility of giving back and, and that by joining together and, and by volunteering and giving and uh, advocating for uh, issues that are important to our community that we can create value and we can make this community a better community. And I think that's her overall goal. She wants this community to be a better community, to be a better place to live, to raise a family, to do business in. 
And so she's willing to put herself and, and uh, put her efforts on the line to help achieve that goal. Uh, I have many memories of, of working with Deborah and uh, seeing uh, her passionate about the goals that she wants to accomplish, to see the uh, compassion she has not only for uh, the people that United Way serves, but also for her employees. And uh, I've seen the anguish that, that she has uh, when she's had to reduce staff to, to balance the budget. And I think those things, uh, when you see those things, you really realize what a remarkable person she is and, and what a great heart she has um, and, and how she believes not only in the mission of United Way, but in the generosity of the citizens of this state and, and the potential of this state to become, as I said, a better place to live. Well, I, I, I think Deborah is a very caring person, and, and she wants to mentor and support and coach uh, her people uh, to help them achieve their personal goals and to help them grow in the job so they do a better job, but also so that they feel more satisfaction in the work that they do. Deborah makes uh, it fun to work for United Way, and, and she makes it fun for the employees, and she makes it fun for the directors and she makes it fun for the volunteers. She expects that um, the employees will support United Way as well with their donations, and yet she makes it fun for them to do that. She um, has a party-like atmosphere where they auction off uh, uh, e events or, or items that she's collected uh, uh, to make it more attractive for them to donate, uh, whether it be to have her sing a solo, whether it be to have her cook a meal or some other thing. And, and so Deborah is, is a remarkable person in, in uh, mentoring, in coaching, in helping her people grow and develop in their job, um, uh, being sympathetic to their personal situations. But she requires excellence uh, out of what they do. Um, and she feels that that's, uh, they, they all uh, are required to do that for the good of United Way. Um, but they know that while she requires excellence, that she'll be there to support them and back them up in all that they do. Well, I think there are few people in this city that can uh, stand next to Deborah uh, in, in what she does for this community. She has put her heart and soul into making this a better place to live. She looks at the uh, issues that we face, and she feels, uh, she feels them, and she wants to do all she can uh, as the leader of United Way by bringing the community together to pr ensure that people have housing, that they have food, that they have education, that they have health care, uh, that we're addressing the needs that they have so that everyone has a chance to find happiness and fulfillment and uh, have, have a life that they can look back on with pride on what they've accomplished and look forward to with hope on, on what is there in the future. And, and I think that it's fitting that the uh, chamber is recognizing Deborah for what she does and drawing attention to the quiet way in which she operates but also recognizing the huge impact that she has on our community. We should all be indebted to Deborah. We should remember her in our prayers for all that she does for us, that she will uh, be healthy and strong and can continue in the work.